let's start with sitting up straight hands on your knees back straight relax your shoulders close your eyes and start to inhale and exhale long inhalations and long exhalations Gently bring your hands together, start rubbing them together and place them on your closed eyelids. Rub your hands across your face and with a few blinks open your eyes. Nisha, everything okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, alright. Okay, let's start with neck rotations. Inhale as your head goes back and exhale as it comes forward. Large circles with your neck. Go in the other direction, inhale as your head goes back and exhale as it comes forward. Now inhale, look up, exhale, look down. Inhale, look up and exhale, look down. Once again, inhale, look up. Exhale, look down, come to the center and let's look from side to side. And once again, come to the center and ear to shoulder. Good. Stop the practice. Interlock your fingers together. Extend the arms up and slightly back. Keep extending the sides, opening the chest. And now release the arms, right hand on left knee and twist back. Now come back. And once again, interlock your fingers together. Extend the arms up and slightly back. And then release the arms, left hand on right knee and twist back. And come back. Now place your hands flat on the floor in front of you. Walk forward and place your forehead, nose or chin on the floor. Now slowly walk back. And then place your hands on either side of the right leg, right knee, and then walk forward. Again, you're opening the side of the body, especially the left side, so you want to reach out more on the left. Allow the forehead to descend down. Then slowly walk your hands back. And now the same thing on the other side. So you're walking the hands forward. Allow the forehead to descend down. Extend the right side of the body more and come down come up now place the hand flat on the floor next to you reach out with the other hand and look up at the ceiling the the bicep is close to the ear and you're looking up both knees are flat on the floor trying to reach the floor come back and the same thing on the other side so you're extending the right arm out, look up and stay. Good. And come back. Now extend both legs out to the sides. Both hands on the floor. Extend the hands forward. Yeah. Yeah, and keep pushing the inner groin down, the knees down, groin down. Good, slowly walk back. Now both hands on the right side, 
on either side of the right leg and then walk forward again. And here also you're trying to extend the left side of the body more than the right. And then walk your hands back. Now the same thing on the other side. So walk your hands forward. And walk them back. Okay, now bend the left leg at the knee. And extend the right hand, the left hand up and out to the side. Nidhi, open the chest. Look up. Don't look down. Yeah, look straight at me or look up. Good. And come back. Okay, and now today, place your hands on the floor also in front of you and walk forward. And see if you're able to, how close to the floor can you come? Yeah. And keep pushing that knee down. And keep your breathing even. The moment you feel that you're not able to breathe, then you ease off and continue breathing. Yeah, okay, come back. Now, left leg out, right leg in. And you're gonna take the right hand up and out to the side. Hmm, good. Very good, okay, come back. Now place your hands on the floor in front of you and walk forward. Good. And come back. Now bring your legs in Padha Konasana. So the feet touching each other. Padha Konasana. Place your hands on the floor in front of you and then walk forward. Yeah. In Bhadda Konasana, you're walking your hands forward. Keep breathing. The moment you feel that the breath is catching or it, it's not um, uh, very smooth, you have to stop and ease away on that asana. Good. Come back. Come back. Now, come on all fours. So, hands on the floor, knees on the floor. And let's start with the tiger breathing or Marjari Asana. So you're going to inhale and push your belly button to the floor, look up, exhale, push your chin into your chest, curve your back, pull the tailbone in, curve the spine as much as you can, inhale, look up, this is an extension for the front part of the body, exhale, push your chin into your chest, really push the hands into the floor, lift the back up. Pull the tailbone in, really curve that back. Good. Inhale, look up. Monica, try to keep the elbows even more straight. Yeah, like really tighten those. Yes, like that. Now exhale, push your chin into your chest, curve your back, pull the tailbone in. Good. Now stop the practice and start your wrist stretches. So you're going to turn your hands around until they face you. Yeah, and then turn them back to their original positions. And again, turn them around. Yeah. Yeah, stop with both hands facing you. Now start to rock back and forth. And side to side. Good. Now stop the practice. Bring your hands back to their original positions. Now place your toes on the floor and lift your knees up off of the floor. Push your tailbone up. Push the tailbone up. Yeah. Really extend that back. Try to push the shoulders away from the ears. When you push the shoulders away, they go closer to the hips. And then you try to extend the hips also. And then slowly start to straighten one leg, then the other leg. And you're gently walking in place. Extending the back of the legs. So Monica, again, you have to straighten the, the arms more. Like your arms are out, you have to straighten them. Yeah. Elbows tighter. Good. Now straighten both legs. Roll the thighs in and stay here. 
exhale, keep exhaling. Good, now inhale, bring the right leg forward on the outside of the right hand, place the left knee on the floor, look over your right shoulder at your left ankle. Yeah, now switch legs. Take the right leg back and bring the left leg forward, right knee on the floor, Look over your left shoulder at the right ankle. And go back into your downward dog. Inhale, bring the right leg forward in between the hands. Place the left knee on the floor. Push the hips down. Rock from side to side. Now push the heel into the floor, extend back, extend back, come forward and extend back and come forward and extend back. Good, okay, come forward and now switch legs, take the right leg back left leg forward, right knee on the floor, push the hips down, rock from side to side. Now push the heel into the floor, extend back. Come forward and extend back. And come forward again. And extend back. Good. Come forward and then bring the other leg forward also. Hang here. Allow the upper body to just hang forward. Arms are dangling. And then slowly vertebra by vertebra. Roll yourself up to a standing position. Good. Okay, good. Shake your legs out. Shake the hands out. And we'll start with the Surya Namaskars. Now we have a few new people in the class today. So uh, if you, we're going to do 12 Surya Namaskars, try to follow along as well as you can. Okay, uh, Don't push yourself too hard. And you may have done a different sort of Surya Namaskar in some other class. So just try to follow the steps that we're doing. It's one of the easiest uh, kinds of Surya Namaskars that we do in the class. So come to the front of your mat. Everybody come to the front of the mat. Hands in the Namaskar Mudra. Those of you who have been coming to class for a while, do not stop. Okay, and let's begin. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Exhale, bend forward, place your fingertips on the floor. You can bend your knees if you have to. Right leg back, left leg back, knees, chest, chin down. Bhujang Asana, Parvata Asana. Right leg forward, left leg forward. Inhale all the way up and back. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Exhale, bend forward, left leg back, right leg back, knees, chest, chin down. Bhujangasana, Parvatasana, left leg forward, right leg forward. Inhale all the way up and back. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Exhale, come down, right leg back, left leg back, knees, chest, chin down. Bhujangasana, Parvatasana, Right leg forward, left leg forward, inhale all the way up and back. Inhale, take your hands all the way up, exhale, come down, left leg back, right leg back, knees, chest, chin down, Bhujangasana, Parvatasana, left leg forward, right leg forward, inhale all the way up and back. Inhale, take your hands all the way up, exhale, come down, right leg back, left leg back, knees, chest, chin down, Bhujangasana, Parvatasana, right leg forward, left leg forward, inhale all the way up and back. Inhale, take your hands all the way up, exhale, come down, left leg back, right leg back, knees, chest, chin down, Bhujangasana, Parvatasana, left leg forward, right leg forward, inhale all the way up and back. Inhale, take your hands all the way up, exhale, come down, right leg back, left leg back, knees, chest, chin down, Bhujangasana, Parvatasana, Right leg forward, left leg forward, inhale all the way up and back. 
Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Exhale, come down. Left leg back, right leg back. Knees, chest, chin down. Bhujangasana, Parvatasana. Left leg forward, right. Inhale all the way up and back. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Exhale, come down. Right leg back, left leg back. Knees, chest, chin down. Bhujangasana, Parvatasana. Right leg forward, left leg forward. Inhale all the way up and back. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Exhale, come down. Left leg back, right leg back. Knees, chest, chin down. Bhujangasana, Parvatasana. Left leg forward, right leg forward. Inhale all the way up and back. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Exhale, come down. Right leg back, left leg back. Knees, chest, chin down. Bhujangasana, Parvatasana. Right leg forward, left leg forward. Inhale all the way up and back. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Exhale, come down. Left leg back, right leg back. Knees, chest, chin down. Bhujangasana, Parvatasana. Left leg forward, right leg forward. Inhale all the way up and back. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Exhale, come down. Right leg back, left leg back. Knees, chest, chin down. Bhujangasana, Parvatasana. Right leg forward, left leg forward. Inhale all the way up and back. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Exhale, come down. Left leg back, right leg back. Knees, chest, chin down. Bhujangasana, Parvatasana. Left leg forward, right leg forward. Inhale all the way up and back. Two more. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Exhale, come down. Right leg back, left leg back. Knees, chest, chin down. Bhujangasana, Parvatasana. Right leg forward, left leg forward. Inhale all the way up and back. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Exhale, come down. Left leg back, right leg back. Knees, chest, chin down. Bhujangasana, Parvatasana. Left leg forward, right leg forward. Inhale all the way up and back. One more. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Exhale, come down. Right leg back, left leg back. Knees, chest, chin down. Bhujangasana, Parvatasana. Right leg forward, left leg forward. Inhale all the way up and back. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Exhale, come down. Left leg back, right leg back. Knees, chest, chin down. Bhujangasana, Parvatasana. Left leg forward, right leg forward. Inhale all the way up and back. Good. Have a sip of water. Have a sip of water. Extend the legs wide apart with, for the Trikonasana. Yeah, take the legs wide apart. Now, turn the right foot out, but this time, the heel should be in line with the back heel. Usually, we do the heel in line with the center of the back foot. Today, heel in line with the back heel. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Exhale, out to the side. Now, extend out to the right like we do in Trikonasana. Extend as much as you can. Extend, extend, extend. Do not go down until I say so. So you're first extending. Stuti, extend more. You're not extending. Bend that hip. Bend it more. Bend that hip until your spine is parallel to the floor. Get that spine parallel to the floor. Now bring that hand down in front of the right foot. In front of the foot and then look up. Look up at the ceiling. If you find that you're unable to reach all the way down, use your belt. Uh, sorry, use your block. Place your hand on top of your block. Everybody else, look up. Just the fingertips on the floor. Satya, use your block. Use your block under your hand. Extend, extend, everybody stay, stay in the posture, do not come out of the posture, exhale, good, now come up, hands back on the waist, turn the right foot in, left leg out, now here again make sure that the heels are in line, yeah, the, it's, it's a little different the alignment for the Trikonasana today. But there is a reason for that. Okay. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Exhale, take the hands out to the side. 
Now extend out again. The extension is very important. Extend out again. More. More. Good. And then place your fingertips in front of your left leg and look up at the ceiling. So use your block under your hand if you have to, but you have to look up at the ceiling. Ashish, you're bending uh, forward. Push the hips forward. You're bending too far forward with your chest. Stay. Good. Okay. Come up, hands down. Walk the legs in. Bring your feet together for Uttanasana. Feet are touching, feet are together. Bend forward from the waist. Place your fingertips on the floor. Again, if you need a block, go ahead and use a block. But keep those knees straight. Keep that back straight. Ashish, you can bend more, so flatten that block. Make that block flat. Yes, like that. Yeah, very good. Stay. Stay. Everybody stay. Nidhi, bring that block back. Now push your tailbone back. Yeah. Good. Good. Come up. Come up. And take the legs wide apart. Now you don't need a uh, block. Nobody needs a block. Take the legs wide apart. Hmm. About four and a half feet apart. Yeah. Good. Okay. Now right foot out. Again the right foot, the heel in line with the back heel. Heels in line. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. As you exhale, you're going to bring the hands down and bend the right leg until the heel is on top of that ankle. Ready? You can extend the legs even more. Even more. Yeah, create more space. Now everybody lean back. Nidhi, lean back. Mrs. Rishi, bend down more. Your knee is not above the ankle. You have to really bend that knee or bring that ankle in. Push the hip forward. Did you see? Push the hip forward. Satya, push the hip forward. Yes, good. Okay, come back. Hands on the waist. Right leg in, left leg out. Left foot out. Heels in line with each other. Okay. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. As you exhale, bend your left leg and sink down. Yes. Nidhi, this side is much better. Good. Good. Yeah. Ashish, take your right leg further back. Yeah, because you have that flexibility to go down more, but we don't want to go down too much. Push the hips forward. Everybody push the hips forward. Good. Okay, come back. Hands on the waist. And walk the legs in. Okay, now stand with feet about hip width distance apart. Uh, hip width distance. Nidhi, for you it will be less. Yeah. Now, take your hands up. So, like Tarasana. Bend your knees in your Utkatasana. So, you're bending your Squatting, just Utkat Asana. Lift the toes up in Utkat Asana. Lift the toes up. Keep sinking down. So don't lean forward. Take the hands up. Sink down. Ashish, you need to sink down more. Nisha, you need to sink down more. Yes. Nidhi, you also. Good. Come up. Come up. Rest the legs. Rest. This time bring the feet together. Knees are together, feet are together. Yeah? Hands up. Arms up. And then bend your knees. Bend the knees, sink down. Sink down, sink down. Hold. Ten. Nine. Monica, down more. Eight. Seven. Six. Reach up with the hands. Five, four, three, two, and one. And come up, hands down. Shake the legs out. Now, how far down?
down till you come. Okay, so watch. Feet are together, knees are together, hands are up. Okay, how far down can I come? How far down can I come? Can I come all the way down? From there, can I come all the way up? Okay, how far down can you come? It's okay if you lose your balance, that's also fine. Experiment. Let's see how far down you can come. Slowly. Nidhi, that was too fast. Don't be in such a hurry. Knees are supposed to, heels on the floor. Come up again, Nidhi, and try again. Slowly, come down slowly. Yeah. Heels on the floor, everybody. Do not lift the heels up. Try again. Ready, good. Yeah, and stay. Stay down there. Stay down there. Go to your maximum and stay. Yes, Nidhi, knees together. Good. Good, Tejasvi. Good. Good, Ashish. Good. Everybody come up. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. Shake the legs out. Shake the legs out. Okay. Again, take the legs wide apart for Parshva Konasana. You know, one good way of doing this is align the heels to the back edge of the mat. Okay. So once the heels are aligned there, and Nidhi, you can increase the space between the feet even more because now your flexibility has increased. So even if it's only an inch, but you should try to increase more. Now, the feet are aligned to the back edge of the mat. Now you're going to just turn the right foot and align that side of the foot to the back of the mat also. So then you know that your feet are pro properly aligned. Yeah, Nisha, you also increase the space between your feet. Ashish, you also. Ashish, you need to increase more, like maybe one foot more. Yes, like that. Yes, good. That's it, that's it, that's it. Yeah. Okay, now inhale, take your hands all the way up. Now as you exhale, come into your warrior posture. So bend the knee and come into the warrior. Now, you're going to take the right fingertips, place them in front of the right foot. Extend the left hand out to the side. Now with the right elbows, right elbow, one elbow, push it, push the knee back, right knee back, push it back. So this elbow is trying to open that hip. When the knee is pushed back, your hip will automatically come forward and there should be a little bit of like a pull on the groin. Everybody stay, stay, Monica, bend your knee more. They just you push that knee back more. More, you can push it more, push that knee back more. Yes, that knee, yes. Good. Good. Come up. Come up. See, okay, Monica, for you, see, you have to bend this knee. Okay? Then you're coming down. What you're doing right now is this. Yeah, you have to bend it. Yes. Only then you'll get that extension on the inner groin. Basically, this is for everybody. Uh, see, the difference between Trikonasana and this is that here you can get a stretch from further deeper in the groin you know and then you can you can get that stretch otherwise yes there is a stretch in trikonasana also but we want to really push down and get a deeper stretch on the groin and at the same time you're pushing this knee back yeah it is important to push this knee back so if i demonstrate from the side i do want you to push this knee back Push it back. Do not keep it like this. Push it back. Yeah, get that opening here. It's an extreme opening. You do want to open it. Yeah? So let's begin again. Legs wide apart. We have to do this on the left side. Yeah. Now turn the left foot out. Turn the left foot out. Now inhale. Take your hands all the way up. Ashish, your right foot should be pointing towards me. Yes. Yeah. Right toes pointing towards me. Heel pushed out. Push the heel, right heel out. Yes, like that. That will give you more stability. Yeah, perfect. That is perfect. Okay, hands up. Now bend the knee as you bring the hands down. Now, place your left fingertips on the floor. Extend the right hand out and with your left elbow, you're pushing the left knee back. Mrs. Rishi, extend the hand out. You're extending it up. Take it out near the ear. Yeah. Brenny, you can sink down more. Yeah. Everybody, that's very good. 
Very good. Okay. Come up. Hands down. Again, shake the legs out. Shake the legs out. So we are building up towards that homework, which only Tejasvi, Nisha, Smriti, Suti have done. So now we are going to do the homework today in class where you have to actually extend the legs really far out and come down. It takes a lot to really extend these legs out like this and come down. Okay, so we're, we're building up towards this posture and coming forward is just a matter of like a little bit of balance and uh, extension here. Who is planning on, who, has anyone done the homework and not sent it to me? Okay, okay, good. So you'll get a chance to do it again once we're done with the practice here. Okay, now see we've opened up the hip, right? With the, with the standing postures, we've opened up the hip. Now, I want you to take a block, or if you don't have a block, that's also fine. You can use anything, you could use even a bottle to rest your hand on, but I want you to do um, Ardha Chandrasana, half moon posture with an open hip, okay? So till now, many of us have been doing this where the hip is closed. I want you to open that hip, open it. That you're pushing the left hip back, right hip forward. Do it on your own time because you need to uh, just focus on yourself. So on the right side first, get into that position and then you're gonna come up into your uh, Ardha Chandrasana, use whatever uh, distance you need, lift that leg up and open that hip. It helps to look at a point in front of you or on the floor. Ashish, you use that wall in behind you. Do this posture with that against the wall. Yeah, good. Open that hip. Good, Monica. Lift the back leg further up, the left, your uh, right leg, lift it up. Yeah. Okay, come up, guys. Come up. Okay, let me just demonstrate once. This is the wall. When you practice it on your own, uh, you can actually use a wall, okay? So, Parasana against a wall is like this. Trikonasana would be like, you know, Trikonasana. Now, Ardha Chandrasana. Many, uh, many of you have a question, how do I know my hip is open? Yeah? That is, you will know your hip, right now my hip is open. How do I know? My right and left buttock is uh, flat against the wall. My shoulders are square because my right and left shoulder are against the wall. That is a square wall, square hip. Now, when I go into my Ardha Chandrasana, I want to get the right and the left hip flat against the wall. This is your perfect Ardha Chandrasana. Okay? So, oh, also look, my toes, I don't know if it's very clear on the video, my toes were pointing up. That's wrong. Toes should be pointing straight, like straight at you guys. And then this is the Ardha Chandrasana. I could go further down, but I'm trying to get the hip against the wall, touching the wall. It makes a huge difference to the asana. So if you have a wall behind you, try this. If you don't have a wall behind you, try that. Open, try to open that hip up. It will. You feel an immediate difference. Okay, it opens the hip like anything. So it, you'll feel an immediate difference. Try it again. Try it again. Most of you have walls. So go ahead and try. Yes. Very good. Much much better. Very nice. Awesome. Very good. Nidhi, take that uh, block away from you. Away. Yes. Now see the balance. See how better the how much better the balance is now. Okay. Good. Smriti, lift the back leg up higher. Yes. Perfect. Perfect. Very good, guys. Try on both sides. Very nice. Monica, that's very nice. Good. Try it on the other side. Yes. You see, you need a height in this. You need um, you need to make that block higher. Satya, that's good, but use more of your muscles on your right leg. 
Yes, like that. Okay, come down guys, come down. Come down. Good. So when you don't use sufficient height, okay, this is the last demo and then we'll move on. When you don't use sufficient height, this is what happens. Okay, look at this posture. If you need to come closer to your screen, come closer to the screen. This is the posture. See, they just say right now, this is what you're doing. And this is the posture with the correct height. Yeah? So ideally, oh, that's an, another thing that I want to demonstrate to you guys. When you do Trikonasana, Trikonasana also, you should not be able to see anything Like, see, it's almost like my, my body is like in a, you, can, you can't see that it's a three-dimensional body. You just see the side of the body. You don't see the hips. You see just the side of the body. Similarly, here, I cannot see myself, but I'm trying to align myself uh, in, in a plane. So here also, maybe this hand is out, but my hips are not out. Okay, hips are straight. It should look just that you see just the head you see just the arms that's what it's supposed to look like okay so today's homework is that i want you guys to send me a picture of the ardha chandrasana from this side from this side not this we've done this already I, I need to see you guys doing it from here look at the pictures that you take okay try to modify it try to fix it does that make sense thumbs up if, if that makes sense if the homework makes sense. Okay, good. Okay, come out. Uh, come up, goddess posture. So take your legs about uh, trikon asana, trikon asana distance. Take the feet out. And again, you can align the, the outer edges of the feet with the mat and sink down. Push the hips forward and sink down. Heels on the floor, hands on the floor, sink down. And in fact, place your hands on the floor and sink down further. Allow the body to sink down further. Further down, further down. Yeah, now you'll get a sense of how tight the body is. Sate, can you sink further down? Is it possible? Okay. Okay, now, come up. Come up, walk the legs in. Okay, now take the legs out, feet out, um, about four inches between the feet. If you can bring the feet completely together, that's also fine. But usually in yoga, we don't teach this. This is an external rotation for both feet. In yoga, we do not teach this. This is more of a dance move. Okay, if you can keep your balance with the feet, uh, feet out, go ahead and do that. Your, the body looks like a... Oh, like a fish okay now you're going to bend your knees and lift your heels up watch once if you if you want you're gonna lift the heels up slowly 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 slow so that is the whole thing about the challenge how much how slow can you come and don't go all the way down we're not coming down we are lifting up we're lifting the hips up so you're not coming down you're up yeah so lift up and now everybody go down again. I'm watching. Very good, Monica. Good. Now your heels have to be touching each other or they are they away? Not necessary to touch each other. Not necessary. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Nice. Nice. Very good, Ashish. That looks very nice. Okay, guys. Come up. Very good. Okay. So, this has a lot to do with the hip opening. Okay. So, uh, a lot of, you guys are doing it very well actually. Now, you, you just need to improve a little bit. So, you're here and you're coming down, coming down. And then, uh, roll the shoulders back and keep pushing the knees out. Okay. You're keeping the knees out but at the same time, the hips are coming down. Now, the hips are anchored down. Now, you can come as close to the floor as you can. This is a stretch here on the on the lower back. Okay. Also for the shoulders. 
Okay, the shoulders, you have to be able to rotate the shoulders. And then slowly you come up and lift up. So, how strong are your legs? That's also what we're looking at here. You really need uh, quad strength to be able to lift up and go down. Nidhi, do not rest. Don't rest. And if you want to sit, do not use the back of the wall to sit in. Do not. Okay. Now, everybody take your legs wide apart. Take your legs wide apart. Okay. Now, hands forward. Clasp your hands and uh, bring them forward. Yeah. Now, turn the right foot slightly out so that the toes are facing out. Bend the right leg, sink down. You're not seated on the floor, you, but you're resting. You're using this leg to keep yourself like a little afloat. This we've done before. But all these movements are what, is, what are required for, that, for the challenge that we just did. Okay. Now, come up and go down to the other side. Guys, we've been doing this in class also. So come down to the other side. Yes. And again. Remy, try your best. Yeah. Ashish, try to keep that foot on the floor. The, like the foot which is bending, leg which is bending, the foot should be on the floor. Uh, they just say same for you. You're lifting that heel up. Do not lift the heel up. That foot is on the floor. Good. Okay. Come up. Shake the legs out. Guys, there's a tightness. For most of you, there's a tightness here. You're, you're lifting the heels up. You have to keep the heel on the floor as you go from side to side. Okay. Now, take the legs apart again. Take the legs wide apart. By now you should feel that your hips are like opening up or there's a slight pain on the hip around the groin. You should be feeling that. Okay, now uh, bend the right leg, sink down. Then take the right hand across this right knee and extend the left hand up. Extend the left hand up. Hmm. Okay. Same thing on the other side. Sink to the other side. Left hand out. Right hand up. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Come up. So there's a problem for most people here. Okay. This part of your leg is just not stretching. One more thing now, which you're going to do every day is this. You're going to take either a block or anything else. You can use a bottle also. Stretch the back of the leg. Put the toes up. Put the toes up on top of the block and then bend forward. Stretch. And you're going to hold this for a while. When you're at home, you're going to hold this for a while. So Nidhi, you'll use a uh, like a stool in front of you to touch. Yeah, these are a few things you guys have to do. Okay, come up. Come up. Because very few people are able to come down and like not lift the heel up. You guys are lifting the heel up. Okay. Okay, all right. Now, Take the legs wide apart again. This is the last standing posture, then we'll do seated. Take the legs wide apart again. Okay? Turn the right foot out, turn the left foot out for warrior one. Yeah. Now, take your hands up. Bend, bend the right leg uh, at the knee. Now, place your hands on the floor. Okay, so you're basically like the upper body is also bent. And now walk to the left side. Walk away from your right leg. Walk to the left. To the left, yeah. Nidhi, further to the left, you're still walking forward. And bend this right leg. Now that your hands are on the floor, you should be able to bend this leg more. 
Good. Everybody in uh, Nisha's house, good. Smriti, push that he hip down more. Hip down more. More. Ashish, that's very good. Okay. Yeah, Mr. Rishi, Nidhi, very good. Come up. Turn to the side. Sada, you're also very good at, at this. Yeah. Turn to the other side. Again, hands up. Bend. Hands on the floor and walk forward. Push those hips down, walk forward. Walk forward. Forward means like away from your legs basically. Hmm. Okay, come up. Come up. Sit down. Extend the legs out. Come forward. Upavishta Konasana. Come forward. See how much more you can go down now than when we started. Nisha, place the hands on the floor. They just say if you bring some life into your thighs, you'll be able to go down more. Hold those bars on that uh, the window. Hold the bars and pull yourself forward. They just say. Yeah, try, yes. Nidhi, do not stop. Okay, come up. Now the reason I'm sitting on the side is so that you can see, now I'm going to bend your left, my left leg, okay? Then I want you guys to come down, but the left hip, is, the right hip is not coming up. I'm still seated on the floor and then I'm coming forward. So keep pushing this leg down as you come forward. Yes, Ashish, that's very good. Knees tight, guys. Keep those leg, that right leg down. Push down. Sate, you're supposed to bend one leg. Bend the right leg. Bend it in. Bend the left leg. Bend it in. Yes, and then come forward. Yeah. Okay, everybody, the other side now. Do the other side. And then come forward. There are many things in play. There is how open your groin is. There is how, how open your lower back is. Also how much can you bend forward, the, uh, the hip joint, mobility of the hip. Everything is coming into play here. Okay, come up. Baddha Konasana, again, Baddha Konasana. Yeah, push those knees down. Everybody will be able to do it a little bit more than you, uh, you were before. Nidhi, very good. Yeah, keep the knees uh, stable. Like don't flap the knees, keep the knees stable. Satya, you can go a little bit more. Hmm. Okay, those of you who have the blocks, take your blocks, place your feet on top of the blocks, push the knees down, push the knees down on the floor. If you don't have a block, place your foot, uh, your feet on your bottle, on the water bottle. Yeah, maybe instead of placing the block like this, place it like this. If I had to use a water bottle, I would place my foot on top of it and then try to bring it down. If you find, okay, come up. If you find that when you sit in your Bhattakon Asana and you're like this, there is a large amount of stiffness in the hip joint, okay? So this actually does help. The more I push this knee down, the more the hip joint opens. Okay. So if I want to get into uh, if I want to get into Konasana, I will have to do this so that eventually I can just be in the Konasana without using anything. Like your knees are so like the hip joint is so much open. 
Okay, now all the postures are connected. So now do the Padmasana. Now that we worked so much on opening the hip, do your lotus posture, the Padmasana. So right leg comes in and then the left leg. Show an improvement. Show me an improvement. So, yeah, Mrs. Rishi, that's very good. So, if you took a block or a blanket and you place the, this other leg on top of that, practice it like that for a while. Get, you, getting used to bringing this leg up. Nisha, you can do the same. You can place uh, your foot on top of a block, yeah, or a bottle or something, yeah. Yeah, Ashish, so just that foot, the other knee is on the floor. So the entire posture is not up, that knee is on the floor. Just this foot is on the, on the uh, block. Good. Okay, Padmasana on the other side. The other side.
If you need a block under your head, go ahead and use a block. And then you're going to slowly extend the right leg out and then the left leg out. And then you're going to go into your Shavasana. Hands out to the sides and go into your Shavasana. Scan your body from top to toe. Particularly how your lower body feels. Keep your inhalations and exhalations really long. Try to remain absolutely still. You've been moving for one hour now. So you want to try to keep the body still and the mind still also. Now gently bring your awareness back into your own body. Start to move your fingers and your toes. Move your face from side to side. Then turn to the right. With your left hand bring yourself up into any comfortable seated meditative asana. Sit with your back straight, your shoulders relaxed, your eyes closed. Bring your hands together in the Namaskar Mudra. Start rubbing your hands together. And place them on your closed eyelids. Rub your hands across your face. And with a few blinks, open your eyes. Thank you. Now if you have any questions, I'm going to unmute you all and you can ask me your questions.